I'm pretty sure many of you have heard demos of this pedal before, but in this video we're going to show you how to use MIDI to take its capabilities to the next level. It's going to be a fun video today, let's get into it. Hey there, how's it going? Today we have in our hands the groundbreaking Chase Bliss Audio Pre-Am Mark II that was created in collaboration with Benton Amps. In this video, we'll show you how to save presets on the Pre-Am Mark II and record them using MIDI, allowing you to jump around presets without having to scroll through one by one individually. Then we'll discover how we can use CC messages to instantly change settings within each of your Pre-Am Mark II presets. Finally, we'll explore how to use an expression pedal to control different motorized faders of your choice and also be able to change which faders you want to control on the fly. Let's start with presets. Saving presets on the Pre-Am Mark II is super simple. We absolutely love the way Chase Bliss has designed the bank and preset architecture on this pedal. The Pre-Am Mark II has three banks of 10 presets each, giving you a total of 30 preset slots. Pressing the preset foot switch allows you to scroll through each of the presets individually and holding down the preset switch allows you to change banks. No light on the preset foot switch LED indicates that we're in bank 1, a red light indicates that we're in bank 2, and a green light indicates that we're in bank 3. As you can see, the preamp only comes programmed with presets in bank 1 and no presets programmed in banks 2 and 3. Now that you understand the basic bank and preset structure on the preamp, let's move on to saving a preset. All you need to do to save a preset is first scroll to the preset slot you want to save your preset to. In this example, we'll use preset 0 in bank 2, which is empty by default. Next, tweak your faders and switches until you get the tone that you want. Once you're happy with your tone, simply hold down the bypass foot switch to save your settings to the current preset slot. It's that simple. Now it's great that you can scroll through presets on the preamp itself, but of course you're not able to jump around presets due to switch limitations. That's where MIDI control comes in. All you need to do to recall the preset is send the preamp a PC message. The 30 presets across the three banks on the preamp correspond to PC number 0 to 29. We've made a simple chart here so you can easily see which PC numbers correspond to each of the presets. So since we want to recall preset 0 in bank 2, all we need to do is send a PC message with PC number 10 to the preamp. So let's go into the Morningstar editor and program PC number 10 to be sent via MIDI channel 2, which is the default MIDI channel that Chase Biz pedals come shipped with. Now we've done that, let's scroll to another preset and use our MIDI controller to recall preset 0 on bank 2. It's that simple. Alright, moving on now, let's take a look at how we can use CC messages to change fader positions within each preset. We'll use preset 8 in bank 1 for this example. For our first example, let's say you want to boost volume levels for this particular preset and take it up to 90%. All we need to do is look up the Pre-Am Mark II on the Morningstar MIDI dictionary and use the command F function to search for volume. As you can see here, CC number 14 controls the volume fader on the preamp. So all we have to do is program our MIDI controller to send a CC message with CC number 14 and value 114. If you're wondering how we got a value of 114, it's just the maximum CC value of 127 multiplied by 90%. That will give you a 90% volume level. Let's name the preset boost and hit save preset. Now pressing the switch gives us an instant volume boost. For our next example, let's use our MIDI controller to increase the gain of our preamp preset without increasing its overall volume level. To do this, we just need to send two MIDI messages with one press up switch. One message increases gain, while the other lowers volume. For the first message, we simply send CC number 19 with value 127, which maxes out the gain. And for our second MIDI message, we send CC number 14 with value 32, which takes our volume to about 25%. Let's name this preset Gain Increase and save our preset. Now when we hit this switch, you can see the gain fader increase while the volume fader decreases. You can play around with the CC values to achieve your desired gain and volume balance. Now moving on to the final segment of this video using an expression pedal with MIDI with the preamp. This is pretty interesting and useful because you can see your desired changes happening on the faders in real time. In this first example, we're going to use the expression pedal to control individual faders of your choice. You can decide which faders you want to control on the fly with just a press of a switch on your MIDI controller. To do this, you first need to set up your expression pedal to control the faders of the preamp. If you don't yet know how to set up your expression pedal with your Morningstar MIDI controller, check out our tutorial on that linked down below. Now if you take a look at our editor, we have our expression pedal set up to send expression CCs 14 to 19, which are the CC numbers that control each of the preamp's faders. We have our minimum and maximum values set to 0 and 127 for full range of control of the faders. When I move the expression pedal now, you'll see that all the faders move simultaneously, which is obviously not very useful. 
What we can do is use the select expression message function on our Morningstar MIDI controller to use each switch on our MIDI controller to select which fader we want to control. If you don't know how to use the select expression message function yet, watch our tutorial on that, video also linked down below. As you can see here, I've named each of our switches on the MC8 after each of the faders on the preamp. So now if I press the gain switch, I effectively have control over the preamp's gain fader. And if I press the bass switch, I now have a low cut filter on my expression pedal. I can do the same with the mid and treble faders as well, effectively having active parametric EQ that I can control with my feet on the fly. And if you noticed here, I have a switch named Onboard EXP as well. This defaults my expression pedal to work as if it were plugged directly into the preamp, allowing you to control your preamp with the fader toe down and heel down positions you have programmed on the preamp itself. So using an expression pedal with a MIDI controller allows you to increase your expression capabilities while still allowing you to make use of the fantastic way Chase Bliss has implemented its onboard expression pedal programming. And that's it for today. I hope that you found today's video useful and fun to watch. And hopefully this has inspired you to use MIDI in more creative ways. If you like what you've seen here today, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Keep rocking, stay awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.